Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. As promised, my review <laughs> of a USB missile launcher. So this guy has a great gift idea. As a matter of fact, it was a gift to me that I really, really like. I did play with it a little bit, but I went ahead and boxed it up so you could sort of see the way it comes. To go over some things really quick, this does require a USB 2 to be in your computer. You need to have either Windows 7 or Mac. Um, Windows 7 system requirements is you need at least a Pentium 4 with 512 uh, megabytes of RAM and a 50 megabytes left on your hard drive. You need VGA graphics. You need a sound card of some sort if you want to hear the simulated motion because this guy sort of moves. So it'll either sound like or if you have sound, it'll be like like a robot kind of sound. I know I'm terrible at this. Um, besides you being able to do this from your computer and moving it around and shooting, you can also do it remotely through two different applications, either with Skype or with MSN Messenger. So someone on the other end can, you know, have this and allow you to control it on your computer anywhere in the world on the internet through those two applications. And again, you get the sound of the missile launcher, of the motion and the launching. And this shoots foam missiles that are absolutely safe, uh, unless, of course, they knocks your eye out. <laughs> and even then, I don't think it would be too much damage. It's not that powerful unless you have your eye right up to the freaking missile. And in that case, you deserve to have your eye knocked out because you're just dumb. <laughs> so... Um, zero in on your target via the webcam, launch your full missile, prepare for retribution. No one is safe. Okay, we'll go ahead and start the unboxing. And then you get an instruction book. And you get some foam missiles. And these foam missiles have a little plastic um, retainer in there just to make sure the foam doesn't collapse down so it's not tight when you put it back when you put it onto your missile launcher for the first time so you gotta pull these little plastic guys out there we go see and you can just set those aside for storage later oh, pulling the wrong side did I get them all? one more okay and as you can see these are squishy foamy um, a little bit tougher on the end, but um, perfectly safe, see? Doesn't hurt. Then you get the missile launcher. There might have been some plastic wrap around the actual missile launcher originally. Um, I can't remember. But here it is. Now one thing, because this is everything, one thing you may notice is there's no software. Um, I guess if there's a con, that's definitely it. And that is that the there's no software that comes with this so you have to go read the instructions and you have to go online at the link that they tell you to go to and download the software which I've already done on my computer right here now before we go any further we need to arm our missiles so you just sorta of, you have these little nipples lack of a better term right here on the front and it's sort of on a, a rotating thing here. I'm not going to force it or anything, but just to show you. This sort of turns and you just sort of put your missile onto these little, little protrusions that are sticking out. The way that this works is that this thing rotates to the next missile and then it blows some air out of this tube which will push that missile off really fast. So we'll go ahead and just uh, slap these on here real quick. And I dropped one somewhere. So, be right back. So I went ahead and loaded the software. And it's called uh, Storm Offline Software. As opposed to the online software, which would be the one that works through MSN or Skype. I didn't choose those options, I'm just going to use this in-house. So you take your USB cord and you plug it into your computer. So I'll go ahead and do that. And on my computer here, 
it says installing device driver and software because I already loaded the software which you have to do before you stick your USB plug in so it recog so the device will recognize the driver that has already been installed on your computer if you don't do that in that order it'll get confused just read the instructions okay so we're ready to, for use so I'm gonna go ahead and double click on the icon to start the software and since I already have a camera installed I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here because I already have a camera on this computer it's asking me which camera to use because by the way this device <laughs> has a camera built in it this particular one so I'm going to select this Altair USB 2 camera because I know it ain't my Logitech camera. Hit OK. And there we go. Zoom out just a little bit so you can see it. So now you have this controller up here where you click either here for up, left, right, and down. And if you notice the the camera moves so now you can see yourself which you are a camera <laughs> so you can see now I'm going to go ahead and zoom out so you can see everything that's going on here hello shaky shaky alright so you can see the missile launcher here actually you can't I need to elevate it so I'm going to grab the box by the way, this came from Brookstone, but you could also uh, well, probably find it under several different names. You know, it's Chinese made and it goes under um, several manufacturers. But this is the one that has the camera built in, which is really neat. So I'm going to go ahead with the controller here and sort of press the down button. You can see it move. And then we'll go ahead and move it left and right. Now, if you notice, doesn't sound too impressive when it does all that, but if I turn my sound on, there we go, and we'll go ahead and crank up the sound a little bit. It'll sound cooler. <laughs> so now we'll go ahead and try to shoot. I'm going to try to shoot you. <laughs> So, um, oops, not fair, I'm moving the box. So I'm going to go ahead and try to aim using the camera here. If you notice, there's a, I'm going to show you something real quick. Real close, you see that little spot there? That's the actual built-in camera. Okay, I see ya. Now one thing I noticed is this thing shoots really low. I guess I didn't properly uh, sight it in at the factory. They need someone who knows how to bore sight there, I guess. I noticed that it shoots really low because according to this, um, in the picture, the camera is completely centered. But as you can see, it's, it's low. So I noticed that I have to put whatever I'm aiming at at the very bottom of the picture. So we'll go ahead and do that. There we go. And it should be aiming right at you. And we'll go ahead and hit the big red button right here. And I bet you didn't even see it go. It's so fast. Let's go ahead and do it again. Now I'm going to go ahead and shoot myself just to show you that uh, now I'm not going to like shoot it at my face, but I am pretty close just to show you that it's uh, pretty safe. It's not going to hurt. <laughs> no, it doesn't hurt one bit. Feels like someone just went like that. <laughs> so pretty cool. It could shoot about 25 feet, and I found another use for this that's really cool. You could have this sort of sitting on your desk and have this application up and you could see what's going on behind you. So I know there are a lot of people that work in the office and in cubes and they'll put a mirror, you know, they'll have a mirror by their monitor or whatever just to see if anybody is sneaking up behind them. Well, you could have this guy sitting there 
you know, on your desk somewhere, and you could be watching your, you know, the video of, of the camera right here in this application, and if it's someone you don't like too much, shoot a missile at them. <laughs> so, pretty neat toy. Um, and, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of office workers uh, getting shot at me because of this video. And I apologize for all of you people on the receiving end of this one. So, really neat gift. It's fun. Uh, it says that it's not a toy, but, uh, you know, this is for adult use only. But you know what? <laughs> it, it's for kids of all ages. I don't care what this says. So you can get this at Brookstone or Brookstone.com. You could also get this at um, Dream Cheeky. I mean, I, I didn't even know this website exists, but they have a lot of USB type things, sort of like uh, some of those other uh, Think Geek type of sites. Uh, Dream Cheeky. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but you know, it's all the stupid Hong Kong and China made USB toys that you could uh, use for your office wars and all kinds of other stupid things. So, um, one other thing, uh, they do have software for Mac, so if you're a Mac user, you're not left out. You can use this too. And I also noticed there's a new um, one here called iLaunch Thunder. And since it's iLaunch, uh, that's definitely made for the, it says manual for iPod Touch iPhone. So they got ones that work with the iPhone, iTouch, everything. So, now they do have some cheaper ones. Ones without the camera cost $10 less. Um, I think the cameras really, really makes this product twice as much fun only because you can see behind you and you can remotely control it. Um, again, the downside is it shoots low, so just remember to uh, use the bottom part of the picture. At least mine does. Now you might get one, so I guess you have to practice with it a little bit, see where you need to aim. So that's really it. I hope you enjoyed this video and. Um, you could get one of these for somewhere between forty and fifty dollars, probably, depending if you get a good deal or not. Um, right now, I think Brookstone Online has it for thirty-nine dollars at the time of this videotaping. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I, as always, appreciate every friend, viewer, and subscriber every single time. And hey, oh, another gift that I had gotten. <clears throat> This holiday season was this t-shirt, which I really like, and believe in what it says right here. There you go. <laughs> so, I hope you all have a great evening, and I will see you next week.